Hello everybody, welcome to our second maths lesson. Now, this lesson is going to be really short on my end, but the work, I'm not going to expect you guys to sit down and do it in one day and finish everything. This work is probably going to take a little bit longer to get all of the extra stuff done. So our heading for maths lesson two is furnishing a home. What I want you guys to do, you're going to be using the internet or using your mind and the catalogs that you have around you. And we're going to look at what we need, what things we need to make our home look like a home, what we need to live. And then we're going to, going to be looking online to see what we can do to get these done. Uh, so not what we can do, what, um, we're going to be checking where we can get these things from and how much it will cost to buy these things. So if I give you guys some examples of some things that we need for each room, because we, we only have the four rooms in the house. I'm going to give you guys some that I think we might miss. Now, you guys might say, I don't know how to cook. I'm never going to cook when I move out or when I live by myself. I'm just going to have takeout all day, every day. Unfortunately, takeout is very expensive. So while some of these things other people might help us buy, so we have to look at, well, what we're going to look at today is what we can do to buy these things on our own. So when I moved out on, and I was living by myself, I didn't go and get the coolest, biggest, most expensive fridge. I was by myself. So I got a fairly small fridge that had a freezer on the top, a fridge on the bottom, and it had enough space for all of the things that I needed to put in there. So with our kitchen, we need to look at our fridge. We're going to look at some pots and pans because these are the things that we're going to be using to cook. I want you guys to think of all of the different things that you can think of in the kitchen. You're going to be looking at things like your knives and forks, your cutlery set, your spoons, all of those things, your cups, your mugs, if you like to have a coffee or a tea or any or a hot chocolate or any warm drink. So look at what you need to fill up a kitchen. Some things, that, another thing you guys might not think of would be cleaning supplies. So what we're looking at here is our detergents, our sponges, and any other thing that we would need to clean our kitchen. We're going to do this for these four rooms, our living room, our bedroom, our bathroom, and our kitchen. And here's where you guys need to think. So if we're, if we're looking at getting a bed for our bedroom, we're not just buying the bed, but we would need to buy a bed frame, a, um, a sheet to cover our mattress, blankets to cover ourselves. We're not just going to be, you know, covering ourselves in in leaves to stay warm because it's cheaper. We're looking at living a good life. So we're living for a long time. So what kind of things do you need to have a pretty good life? Our living room, our bedroom, our bathroom, and our kitchen. I want you guys to spend a fair bit of time going through this. Don't just rush through and find three things of each. I want you guys to show me how creative you can be and how well you go into it. So one thing that we might forget with our bathroom that some of us would think is really important would be our bath mats, just the, the mats that go on the floor. So they absorb a little bit of water if we come out of the shower. They keep the space a little bit cleaner. And when we clean them, we put them in our washing machine. So these four rooms, the different things we need in our maths workbooks, let's get ready to Get this done. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.